Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bebo Weekly's Between the Lines, where we give you the news that you don't always hear about. I'm Tracy S. Campbell, executive producer and host of Bebo Weekly. And we're back here today to talk about, yes, the news and the information that you're not probably hearing a lot about right now on mainstream media. Now, today I want to talk about digital currency, Facebook, and how this all applies to you and me right now. Many of you may have heard of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum. You may have heard of digital wallets. And if that's all you know right now, that's okay. But digital currency is beginning to get more and more mainstream notice. And lately, that's largely in part due to Senator Sherrod Brown out of Ohio. He came up with a great idea. Now, he does serve on the U.S. Committee of Banking, and he came up with a great idea. He thought, wouldn't it be great if we can take digital currency, have our member banks, now those are banks that are part of the Federal Reserve, open up free digital wallets that will contain digital currency for everyone so that if you are in a position that you do not have a traditional banking checking account and you need to cash your stimulus check, you don't have to go to an expensive check cashing place that's going to take a large percentage out of that check in order to cash it. Instead, you can still go to one of these member banks that are part of the Federal Reserve, banks that we all know about, Go there, cash your stimulus check, and get as much of that check back, if not the whole check, as possible. It's called the Banking for All Act. And again, spearheaded by Senator Sherrod Brown out of Ohio. Now, this bill was on the House floor. It's now on the Senate floor. And unfortunately, it did not make it into the third stimulus package. Yes, there's three stimulus packages. They're negotiating constantly, and we're up to the third package. Well, this particular idea, this particular bill did not make it into that package, but Senator Sherrod Brown and others who support this bill are fighting hard to make sure that it is passed. And if it is, it will be a game changer for a lot of people. Matter of fact, it will be a game changer for all of us because then we can get a free digital wallet at a mainstream bank. And if you happen to be in a situation where you cannot afford a checking or savings account, you can still cash your stimulus checks and probably other checks down the road with this wallet. So it's a big deal. It's an important deal. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this. Again, Everything is taking a back seat to COVID-19 and the pandem pandemic, and that's understandably so, but we definitely want to make sure we keep an eye on this because this affects all of us and our financial future. Speaking of something that affects all of us and our financial future, let's talk about Facebook. Some of you may have heard of Project Libra. Now, that was a project that was Facebook's big deal around this time last year, actually. Project Libra was Facebook's foray into the currency, cryptocurrency market. Yes, Facebook was creating a brand new cryptocurrency called Libra, and it was going to be used. You and I could get Libra coins, and we could spend it just like any other currency on various goods for those who participate and uh, partner with Facebook. Well. Facebook had a hard time with Project Libra, mostly because Facebook, specifically Mark Zuckerberg, faced a lot of opposition from the House and from the Senate, as, as well as other banks, fearing that Facebook was maybe going a little bit too far and trying to monopolize just a little bit too much. So as it is right now, Project Libra is now entertaining the idea 
of not just having the Libra coin, but also accepting the US dollar, the Euro, and other currencies as well on their payment platform. So it won't just be the Libra coin, which will be part of it. You can still, going forward, get a Libra coin, at least that's what they're planning to do. But you can also use the US dollar and the Euro as well to buy goods and services. So as of right now, Project Libra is on hold. It's not looking good that it's gonna launch in 2020, but they're still holding, holding out hope that this platform will launch in the near future. And if it does, Facebook is now going to be a part of the ever-changing but definitely growing cryptocurrency market. That's something else that you need to know about and that you need to keep your eye on. So everyone, I'm gonna stop there today with the cryptocurrencies and the banking and Facebook and all that stuff because it's a lot to digest and we just scratched the surface. But yes, we're gonna be back talking more about this because yeah, the way we do business, the way we bank and buy goods and services in the future is already changing and you need to know about it so you can be prepared because one day you may not pull a dollar out of your wallet you may not be pulling anything out of your wallet, but you may have a pretty substantial wallet out there in digital land. Okay, next up, we're gonna be talking about, well, our favorite radio show and podcast, The B Zone with yours truly. Now, right now, we are not filming brand new episodes of The B Zone, but we are working it out, everyone. We're trying to also be fluid in this whole new pandemic situation and we are working hard to make sure that we can get brand new episodes of the b-zone to you as soon as possible but in the meantime i strongly encourage you to go over to iHeartRadio, tune in or apple podcast because guess what there's about 32 or 33 episodes of the B-Zone with yours truly, Tracy S. Campbell, and some amazing people, Diary's parent, Tamara Knighting, Erica Avila, and a whole host of others that join me. And we talk about some great things. We have a very interesting Dear B-Zone letter that comes in, and we tie that to the subject of, of the day around business, entrepreneurship, relationships, wellness, and so much more. We have great celebrity interviews as well as experts that come on and share information that we all need to learn and know about. And if you like old school music from the late 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, we take care of you there too. So make sure you go over to iHeartRadio, tune in, or Apple Podcasts, and make sure you look up The B Zone with Tracy, Tara A.C.I.S. Campbell, and listen to some of those great episodes that are already out there while we prepare to bring you some new content very soon. And last but not least for today, we of course are going to be coming back next week with another episode of Bebo Weekly. Now next week, we're going to be tackling anxiety, panic, stress during COVID-19. You may not know this, but over 60% of Americans right now don't know if they're gonna make it through this pandemic. They're fearful, not for just themselves, but also for their loved ones, their friends, their families. And many of those 60% or over 60% individuals also are not very confident, not only about their health, but about their economic future. And this causes, as you can imagine, a great amount of stress, anxiety, and panic. And suicides, yes, suicides are on the increase. It's a very serious situation, everyone. So next week, I'm gonna introduce you to three amazing ladies that make it their business to help others better deal with stress, anxiety, panic, helping them to have a stronger and a better mindset, as well as things that they do to, of course, calm us all down physically you don't want to miss next week's episode of Bebo Weekly. That's all I have for you today, everyone. I hope that you got a lot out of today's news story all around digital currency, Facebook, 
the Banking for All Act and how this is going to affect you, me, all of us going forward. And of course, we're going to be back soon with more great between the line news that you need to know about. But in the meantime, everybody, make sure that you stay healthy, stay safe. And while you're at it, make sure you stay informed. See you soon.